This is a patient who'd come in with some weight loss over a number of years, and a CT scan was performed to further evaluate the etiology. Now, there's a number of findings here, but we'll start off with uh, the ones in the kidneys. And immediately, you can see that there's abnormalities in both kidneys, in the left kidney, bilateral, indeterminate renal masses. There's also a few cysts and too small to characterize renal hypodensities, but many of the masses in the kidneys are going to be difficult to confidently characterize. So if we just look at those masses, what's the differential for that? Certainly could be bilateral RCCs, though, again, they look quite homogeneous, so that would be a slightly unusual appearance, but that is possible. These could be things like lymphoma, but we're really not seeing a lot of adenopathy and certainly no bulky adenopathy in the abdomen and pelvis. More exotic things like sarcoidosis could give this appearance, and perhaps it's pyelonephritis, but there's not a lot of inflammatory change, and the patient really didn't have any symptoms of urinary tract infection. And if we look at some other findings to try to bring this all together, we notice that there's also biliary ductal dilatation, right? The intrahepatic ducts are dilated as we scroll downwards. The extrahepatic biliary tree is dilated. As we come right around here, the distal portion there is narrowing and definite wall thickening of that distal CBD all the way down really to the ampulla. So we have a stricture within the distal common bile duct. Now the stricture could be malignant or benign. Certainly uh, malignant strictures are things like cholangiocarcinomas, benign things could be post-inflammatory strictures. Uh, we also notice that uh, while there's no bulk adenopathy, there are a few mildly enlarged lymph nodes. We can look all the way up here, uh, you know, anterior to the aorta, adjacent to the esophagus, uh, a node that's probably just under a centimeter, but a little bit bigger than you'd expect, and a few other nodes uh, that we can see within the abdomen. So how can we put all this together? Well, bilateral adrenal masses with a biliary stricture, one of the things you th may want to think about is IUG4-related disease. Now, that often gives you findings of autoimmune pancreatitis, and one can argue that maybe the um, pancreas over here looks a little bit fuller than it should be, but one of the other relatively common findings of IgG4-related disease in the abdomen is biliary strictures, and we certainly have a biliary stricture here. It's pretty smooth. It's pretty uh, long segment causing upstream ductal dilatation. Uncommonly, it can infect the kidneys, and when it does, it can give rise to bilateral adrenal masses that can look just like this. These renal masses were biopsied, and this indeed turned out to be IgG4-related disease affecting the kidneys. Treatment for this is steroids.